It is not to have strong faith even if you move trees. It is not everything, even if you give away anything, everything. You may do that to be known, to get fame in your area. But that's not love. Love is patient. Our missionaries really were very patient with us ancestors. The thinking, the that, you know that. I remember in my past there was one missionary pulling out the truth, the truth of the people. You, you can't be many. He had a small voice. Eh, you say, I'm going to pull it out. No, 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 it's not that. Ah, it's good. And he was just through that right there. Even my past priest was in Uganda. You know, I stayed in the past before I joined the seminary for two years. And he knew, he knew how to pull out those things. Because they, are, they didn't know much of the medicine. So when you pull out and they give me that which they use, just put it. What's that in the class there? And he would give the money to me. He was not interested in the money, but to help these people, what do you know? What to do with their teeth? So, we should really thank God for these missionaries. It is not to have strong faith, you know. Love is patient. Dear young people, students, this is your challenge. Not to always get angry that he is sad. Love is kind. Love is not jealousy. Some people are just jealous of the others because they are better. That's not a Christian way. Love is not pompous. Don't do things to be known. Whether they know you or not. If they have a good motive, you say, God, this is where we to go. Who sees in secret? It is not inflated. Don't go gossip. We did that. I gave so much money, so much money. Don't give that to the sister. She's not going to eat it. Maybe it's for the construction of a building which will serve the young ones for years. So God, you have given me so much. Let me also return so much to you. There is no seeking so interest. It is not a quick temper. Young people, you now have to control your temper. Don't you have time to become, become very angry and insult each other? And maybe you see that in your family. Small thing your father shouts, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, mother doesn't want to be the, the husband. Hey, mommy, why? Eh, you are still young. You will not let her know. No, patient. And listen. Rejoice with the truth. It says, it hears all things. Love believes all things. Love hopes all things. And endures. There is a bit of hardship to keep silence, to be patient, not to react, not to revenge. This is what we should know. I wish you would read that 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1 8. Saint Paul explains very clearly what a Christian love is. Jesus gave us the new commandment love one another. This is my new commandment love one another as I have loved you. No one has a greater love than this to lay down one's life for. Friends. You, know, you see these religious people. The way they live, they express love. Of course, they take pains to study. They go to the universities. And they live in an environment which are quite a challenge to them. Because they are young people, boys, and girls think of sexual love. And maybe some of these young sisters, what are you up to? Do you think you can manage this life for your life? Can you believe it? Ah. And then they give us the different smiles to them. They say, Lord Jesus, send me. Let me be called a fool. And they call them fool. All these, even some idiots. 
They go there and say, you, you are good. You say, you become a Christian. You? Are we losing you? Hmm. Yeah, but when you bring forth a child, you want to be a Christian, you want to baptize them. Suppose something come out and make a sacrifice. Will you have someone to baptize your child? Will you have someone to forgive your sins? Will you have someone to bless your marriage? So sacrifice and love which is expressed by action or inactions are more important than words. This is what the missionaries told us. This is my commandment. Love one another. I want you to reflect on 1 Corinthians 13 to 18. And you see how St. Paul explains the, the, the good love. And in John 15, sub 17, 21, love is the new commandment. If a Christian and you don't practice love, not by smiling, but through actions, then 